Oh my god. The scarf uh, looked way nicer and now it's all over my head. My scarf never stays on at night because I'm tossing and turning and it's a satin silk scarf so it doesn't, you know, it slips and I'm not gonna tie it tight because I don't wanna get a migraine the next day. So this is what I end up looking like. Just woke up and the cats are following me because they want food. Some dry food. I'm gonna fix my hair. Um. <laughs> uh, it's the end of the week, so it's due for a refresher, but I'm gonna tie it up for now until I wash my face, brush my teeth, and get ready to do some work. I'm, yeah, I didn't, I slept well, but I slept late because I had some work to do, so I'm just, my face feels beat up. Oh, let's, let's get the day started. I have today off, it's a Friday. I haven't had much time off because of the new job I started in February. So I've, you know, I've had time off in the sense that I've had to take days off sick days because I've had migraines like no other year. I don't know what that's about. But actual time off for vacation has been rare, so this is another day I'm taking off to kind of recoup and get some um, other work done besides my actual job, my actual work. So yeah, thought I'd take you along on the day and the rest of the weekend, so we'll see how much footage I capture. <laughs> All right. done editing. It's been two hours and I love editing, video editing that is, but I cannot be troubleshooting every minute of those two hours. <laughs> I've just been having so many issues. I'm working in After Effects. It's not something I'm as comfortable with. Adobe Premiere is the software I use mostly, but for the project I'm doing After Effects heavy. Um, and I've just been having a lot of trouble with the specific piece I'm editing. So I need a break. Like eventually you just gotta stop, step away and come back to it, come back into it, refresh. Maybe it'll it'll turn out better. Um, I just went through a meeting, not a meeting, uh, like a program, educational program I'm going through for Adobe. So I uh, learned something new there in five minutes. And I ate lunch as you saw, and uh, I usually have coffee after lunch, but I'm gonna work out so I don't need it. Usually when I'm at work during the day and I'm, you know, there all day in the afternoon I have coffee, but not this time because I got energy. Um, but the afternoon slump, which is around 2 p.m. It's one right now. 2 p.m. is when things start to whoop. So I'm gonna get to the gym before that happens. Um, I'm gonna be doing cardio. Well, I'm gonna be doing glutes today. And when I do glutes, um, I usually run at the same time. So I'm gonna be 
or at the end of the week is when I do most of my running because my legs have recovered. I'm feeling more energetic so I can handle a heavy cardio session. The, the heart is the most important muscle. So I'm trying to get that working in addition to the rest of the muscles in the body, right? The exterior muscles. So on running days, I try to do them towards the end of the week because when you do weightlifting and then you're running, it can take a toll. At least for me, it takes a toll on my body and I have a hard time recovering. So I do my heavy leg days, heavy lifts, like deadlift squats towards the beginning of the week. And I'm trying to do my running towards the end of the week when it's more upper body, uh, uh, lighter movements. I might take you along. I don't really like filming in public, especially with a giant camera like this. Don't want to be in people's faces. But I might capture some footage on my phone. So maybe I'll see you there. Cool. Let's get to the gym. back from the gym. That was a great session. It's a nice to work out on a day off because you're really rested. Got back just in time because the rain just started. Give a look outside. It looks beautiful. So, um, before I get ready to do some work, I'm gonna shower in a little bit, but I'm gonna eat first. I'm gonna have, that's loud, more coffee. I usually wouldn't have coffee this late at like 4 p.m. Usually I stop with the coffee at two. Again, I don't do it because I can't sleep at night. I know a lot of people do that for that reason. I can still sleep after having coffee because I'm just used to the caffeine. Um, I do it more for taste nowadays. Um, the other option is some matcha, um, matcha tea. And I've been slowly kind of transitioning to this um, just to I guess for the afternoons and the mornings, I kind of need my coffee because I'm up at 7 a.m. I'm not a morning person at all and I'm not awake until 10 a.m. So between that time, I need the coffee to stay awake, uh, at least when I'm at work. Um, so matcha tea has been great for the afternoons when I'm at work so I don't have the spikes and energy and the crash at like 3 p.m. and 2 p.m. I have matcha. Oh my God, I can't hold the camera up. I'm sorry. Oh, my shoulders are burning. Um, so you're gonna get this angle. <laughs> Matcha has been great with some honey, warm water. Uh, it tastes amazing. Um, some decent quality matcha. So I'm gonna have some raisin bread, some plant-based butter, which is just oil basically. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have some coffee because I'm planning on working for the next two and a half hours or so. Okay, so I thought I was done for the day. Well, I'm not. Um, I am, I'm t today I'm getting ready for uh, like a community event. The Irishi and Assistance Organization in Chicago, EOC, held a sports uh, thing over the course of the summer where all children between ages five and 18 uh, in the Irishian community uh, we're able to just every Saturday come together for two hours and play different sports. So tomorrow's the conclusion of that. I didn't realize just how much it takes to organize something uh, like this. Right now, the only thing left to pick up is the jersey. So we had to order jerseys too, but we're, uh, because people were registering late and sizes didn't fit, we had to reorder a second set. So luckily they're all ready by today, the day before the final event, um, the day before we, you know, conclude for the rest of the year and then come back together next summer. So um, I'm gonna go pick those up right now and hopefully the bag isn't too large to fit in my bag or in my front seat. And I think my car will legit be packed. I'm gonna look like I'm living out of my car um, uh, while I travel to the, to the field tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Just came back from picking up the rest of the jerseys. 
I wanted to show you the jerseys that I helped design. Kind of proud of it. I didn't design that part. Kind of, we kept the flag out of it um, until very last minute. We decided to add the flag. Uh, the flag was a little controversial with some groups, some of the Erie Chains living in Chicago, as I'm sure is the case with many other Erie Chains living across the diaspora. Some people don't like it. There was some discussion about that, but we decided to include it anyways because we are Eritreans and this flag is representative of the country as is recognized by the United Nations and the rest of the international world. So it kind of just makes sense to include it as a representation of the country we come from, regardless of the ethnicity or anything else or political associations or religion. So for that reason, it's there. Uh, didn't want to get into it, but I kind of had to give some backstory. Uh, design the middle part here. Uh, very last minute design, just put it together. Um, hopefully next year we'll come up with something nicer. But these are the sports that the kids are participating in. A lot of them are in soccer. Some are doing basketball. Uh, quite a bit are doing volleyball and the rest are doing running. So hopefully I'll capture some footage uh, for you all tomorrow of the events we're going to hold. Um, and take some pictures just just so we have memories and it's kind of a big ordeal how the whole community has come together it doesn't happen that often because of the political differences but we decided to keep that out of it for the sake of the kids and i think a lot of the parents and the rest of the community just decided let's you know let's all come together for that reason and they they're taking to it pretty well this gathering we're having um, again, I don't want to get into the politics, but I'm not going to get into the politics. It's, it's gone well. It's been a little bit of a stressful, hectic kind of thing. We had like 140 something kids register, which is a lot. So between like 15 volunteers who are helping organize everything. So, um, it was a big deal. I think it was a big feat, and I think we were successful. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Hopefully the food shows up. <laughs> if not, uh, that's going to be the test. Tomorrow's the final day, and it's going to be the test. Um, yeah, so I'll maybe see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to go get some food and some sleep now. It's been a long day. Stay out with that microphone. The hand was can never want it in the other the long so go to hand with her phone. currently have a mask on. Um, it's the Gleeman vitamin A, vitamin C, oh, vitamin C mask. I can't emote very much because it's all dry now, so it's all fallen off, but I think you can still understand me. So I'm gonna start getting ready for the wedding. Um, had a long day, I'm tired. Uh, you've probably seen clips of what I did before this, maybe, or maybe it'll be after this. Uh, uh, after this vlog, I guess, this video. Uh, took a nap. It's 4 o'clock. I'm about to eat. Drink. Eat some coffee. Drink some coffee. Wake up. And spend the next hour getting ready. 
doesn't take me long to get ready in the sense of like makeup, hair, whatever. But picking a something to wear is always a struggle, uh, especially because I'm trying to dress nice and feminine, but that's not me. So <laughs> picking an outfit, especially for a wedding, I don't I don't know how to find the balance between what I like and something that looks decent. Uh, I don't like to dress up too often. If it was up to me, I'd go in some jean shorts and a nice tank top, but can't really do that, especially not at a feel like a Eurasian wedding. So, so we're gonna we're gonna go see what I what I can wear. Um, but before that, I'm going to be doing my nails today. So um, I got some products sent over to me. The details will be coming up soon. Um, but uh, I'm going to be trialing them. They are uh, vegan, cruelty-free nail polish, and I don't often wear nail polish on my uh, hands, fingers anymore, uh, just because it's, it's a little inconvenient for me to maintain it, so I don't do it anymore. Um, but I, I do wear them on my toes because toes look nicer with nail polish on it. Without nail polish, they don't look barren and they look like ugh. So uh, this summer I've been rocking some nail polish, usually a blue color of some sort, but uh, like a cobalt blue, but we're gonna try something different. So maybe we'll see that clip next or maybe I'll wash this off and do my face, uh, whatever I'm gonna do to it, and then pick some outfits. Maybe I should pick the outfits first because I know that's gonna take me a long, I don't know, we'll, we'll, let's figure this out. Getting ready shouldn't be stressful, but I just feel like every time I gotta get ready for something nice, it's stressful for no reason. Right, if we're living in Muzit world, you can come wearing whatever you want. Yeah, I'm gonna go take this off, because it's all coming off anyways. <laughs> and I'll see you in a little bit. I feel, like, I feel like I look buff as hell in this. Like my arms are... <sighs> This might be it. This one, I feel more comfortable like moving around wise in this one, but I feel too feminine in this one. I feel more confident in this one and more like myself because it's a, it's got a bit of a masculine business-like, bossy-like, Claire Underwood vibes from a House of Cards. That's my style, but it's, um, it's a little short, so I have to be careful when I sit down. Um, but I'm gonna be sitting down. I don't, I don't know, I think I might wear this. I don't know, I don't know. Let me get the rest of my stuff ready and then it'll be between this one and this one. 